Good evening, lads and ladies, and welcome to PSV1 News. On tonight's report, Sony Bigwig interviewed by Japanese media on the PSV2 in 2023. Epic Games boss Timothy Sweeney says don't expect Fortnite to come to VR. John Carmack becomes so disgusted by the quest that he can no longer tolerate Mata for love nor money. Demio up in its price to reflect its added value through updates, but is that the real reason? Sony quietly reveals six weeaboo PSV2 titles, five of which should be there for launch. Sony Interactive's Hideaki Nishino was recently interviewed by Famitsu in regards to Sony's upcoming 2023 plans, which included segments on PSVR 2. When asked about the development of PSVR 2, Nishino had this to say. There is one USB-C port on the front of the PS5, but that was actually prepared in anticipation of connecting the PSVR 2. As he explained how the PS5 was built with the PSVR 2 in mind, he went on to say that this early consideration would lead to a smoother user experience. PSVR still had issues with the connection with the PS4 system, so in order to clean up those things, I thought about IT together with the PS5 from the beginning. The interviewer brought up the popularity of wireless standalone virtual reality headsets, to which Nishino had this to say. I believe that there is nothing that surpasses the current cable. Going wireless will give you another experience. So we are always looking at all possibilities. However, there is still the issue of how far the performance that can be realized. Only with cables can be replaced with wireless. Famitsu went on to address their software concerns with PS4 2, saying the following. We are also concerned about the future software lineup for long term use. Being addition to the titles that have already been announced, will both SIE and third parties continue to release new titles? Nishino had this reassurance to offer. There are still more unannounced titles that I've been able to experience the demo version of, in addition to those that have already been announced, so please look forward to it. Finally, Nishino seemed to imply that it was Capcom who were eager to get virtual reality into Resident Evil Village, rather than Sony, stating the following. Inu knew that Capcom was very concerned about VR, so we provided support from an early stage. The CEO of Epic Games and creator of the Unreal Engine, Tim Sweeney, recently put any hopes of Fortnite coming to VR in the gutter during a recent interview with The Verge. Our Tim Sweeney correspondent, Jordan Peterson, has more. It began with an interview with American technology news website, The Verge, where Sweeney said the following, Epic has no plans to build a VR version of Fortnite, not out of any grand business strategy. But just because the thing that we do in Fortnite every day as gamers is run through an environment rapidly and it's the kind of experience that involves intense motion and doesn't work as well in virtual reality. And so if we were to ever do anything in VR, it would have to be something that's really custom tailored for the experience. The article led to a Twitter thread lamenting the decision where Sweeney himself joined in the discussion Further explaining his position on the subject, is there a good VR game with fast shooter style player movement that doesn't induce widespread motion sickness? If VR required special modes, groups would be fragmented. The exercise seems futile, unless full modes like Battle Royale could be made to work comfortably in VR. Though Sweeney ended his thoughts with a glimmer of hope for VR fans, stating... The observation that players acclimate with experience is worth exploring further. With VR in a precarious position, support from world-renowned IPs like Fortnite or Call of Duty would be very welcome and give the medium a fighting chance to make it to the mainstream. But that won't happen while flat Neanderthals like Tim Sweeney are calling the shots. This is Jordan B. Peterson 
reporting for PSVR News. Back to you, pumpkins. Thank you, Jordan. Legendary programmer John Carmack has left his position at Meta, where he worked as an executive consultant. Many point to Carmack as being one of the fathers of virtual reality who pushed to get virtual reality ready for consumers. In his message explaining his decision, Carmack outlined his frustration with the efficiency of the company. We have a ridiculous amount of people and resources, but we constantly self-sabotage and squander effort. There is no way to sugarcoat this. I think our organization is operating at half the effectiveness that would make me happy. The news should come as a concern to all of those expecting and anticipating the MetaQuest 3, as it sounds like it's going to be an absolute heap of shite. Resolution Games, the studio behind the critically acclaimed Demio, are set to hike the price of their current game, Demio, from $30 to $40. Resolution Games had this to say on the increase. With the first saga coming to a close in this final chapter, Demio's price will increase from $39.99 across all platforms beginning January 12, to better reflect the breadth of the game, which includes the addition of four complete adventures, three new playable characters, and numerous other enhancements since the game's early 2021 launch. With the PSVR 2 version of Demio having already been confirmed as a $40 title, this increase will bring us in line with that version, making this newsreader wonder if the real reason the increase happened was to make it easier to charge us PlayStation VR 2 idiots an extra $10. I mean, if you were already going to get Demio on those other headsets, you'd probably already have it by now. And our final story tonight. Sony, like rats in the nice, have snuck out another blog post a couple of days ago. This one confirming six titles that are coming to PS Viewer 2. Five of those titles are expected to be day one launches, with only one of them being TBA, Fantavision 2020X, Altair Breaker, The Tale of Onogoro, Kizuna AI, Touch the Beat, and Desynchronia, Cronus Alternus are all set to be there on the 22nd of February, with X8 being the only title with no confirmed release days. After quickly scrolling through the blog post myself, I can tell you that all of these games look pretty much like the kind of game that the quiet lad in your class with the trench coat and the fedora would enjoy very much, and more power to him. That's it for the news. Before you go, please remember to like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shice to stay informed of PSV or 2 news. I've been Petrifying Pumpkins, and you've been watching PSV or News. Please stay moist.